It actually has never happened before that an EU team has beaten an NA team live, so that creates a big rivalry between the regions. And of course, we as the number one seed of Europe are trying to change that. This is a very telling matchup for the strengths of these regions. If G2 can't beat Immortals, that speaks volumes. This is my first live event, first offline event. Mm, I wasn't quite sure how everything would be, so I think we're really confident to beat them today. We know Immortals has this live buff. When they show up to an event, they tend to just turn it up a notch. But G2, we have not seen Hundor on the live stage. Is he going to be able to compete with that from Immortals? Immortals, they gotta be careful here as G2 goes for the fight. Re-engage, Vayne's first to fall. Dienzio, he's on the back line. He knows he just needs to turn this around, try and make something happen, but Hundor finds him. He's gonna get Sweet J2. Double it's kill ace. coming out. It's the ace for G2 Esports. Well, here comes a fight. Bright Borg to buy some time. Vayne's wants to go in. He's actually gonna have to swap target to try and protect Dienzio. You can see here Hundor very healthy, still getting jumped on. Dienzio yep. tries to make a play through the portal. Suijay, he wants him. Hundor, he's still alive. Ace comes through for G2 Esports. They make the fight happen. G2 Esports take game number one. Normally in every competition, it, it was like an A1 over U. And now this time we can show that U is strong, that we can win, or at least show some good performance. An exciting series so far. G2 Esports, as one of the European representatives here in this tournament, really want to pick up that first European series victory over North America. Sweejay really wants here this comes one the team. Though. Got him. He's so close to dying, but Vayne's is going to go down. You can't. Oh man, the eat as well. Stuck from Dark Potato makes it happen. Sweejay gonna go down. Oh, no, here we go. Immortals, they want to make this play happen. Dienzio on the back line, not really getting the damage down. There was Hundor Kite. Sweejay, he does so much work there. Actually, going to be Dark Potato's duty to try and hunt down that kill. Hundor looks for Dienzio. Dienzio gets stunned up and taken down. Hundor gets the double kill. G2 Esports with a very convincing fight win. G2 Esports, ladies and gentlemen, find game number two in the series. G2 Esports, they gotta be feeling pretty good right now as well. They are one win away from making history for Europe as a region in vain glory. All well, the boots popped. You can see G2 wants this one. They do get a lot of crowd control onto Dienzio. He's trying to cut First in go He goes for burst way earlier. This fight finds the damage. He's looking Zinji for Dienzio. Atlas. Great stun! Janu with the three man Gideon wall. Vayne cannot execute Hundor. Sweejay is not going to get away with 50 second respawn timers on Immortals right now. I do not know if they can defend and a push here, Fuji, Europe, they have victory in their sights in London. G2 Esports are looking to be that historical team to take down North America. They are going to do it. What a match, 3-0 over Immortals. Yeah, I think we played really good today, but to beat like the best teams, it wasn't enough. Yeah, we, we won like 3-0, so I'm sure it had to be like good games. But I think we could have done way better. Uh, we definitely feel prepared for gangsters and I hope we can make it to the finals time. It's NA versus EU, it's G2 versus Gangstars. Exciting matchup for sure. G2, the last hope of Europe, the only team to be here in day three, Championship Sunday, and they are going to be feeling the pressure of Europe on their shoulders. Everyone grouping up into the lane. Xenotech gonna show his presence. That's an impale though onto Xenotech. He is caught up and that's gonna be first blood going to Hundor. G2 strike first. This is an intense start to a game. The gold is even here for, for both these teams are looking to make moves. Dark Potato will facilitate these fights for them. If he lands an Impale, then the damage will be huge. Root, Xenotech dead, wrecked, in trouble. That's a Rocky caught up, a double kill for Hundor and Dark Potato chasing, will not be able to find Wreck. That's a Rocky onto Hundor, Dark Potato swallowed up. Hundor going low, heals are there. Can they survive? A Rocky in the midst of it all as he rose offensive away and Hundor has been dropped. That's Xenotech with one, that's a Rocky with another. 
Lava, Dark Potato now on the run, but Wretch with a slow, all killed me in war, but the one shot to the butt, and that is an ace for Gangstars! G2 struggling with the defense, Araki onto the Bay Crystal, Hundor trying to block the attack, but the Bay Crystal is falling, and game one goes to Gangstars! It was looking so good for G2, so good in the early game, but then Gangstars, out of nowhere, just started winning fights like that. It's time now for this second match for Court. G2 with fantastic early game, but Gangstars brought it home. Let's see what happens as we jump onto the fold. Keanu and are gonna try and body block. There's the flight company, they're trying to turn onto Zeno Tech. Oh. The fountain comes out, the hills are there, and Hundle's in the midst of it. A one shot, that's already a kill. The that's six. the second. The level six for Zeno Tech, so huge, and G2 fighting where they should not. One shot out onto Keanu. Gangstars moving on in. Looks like G2 won this fight, and Araki takes a lot of damage. That's gonna be a side. It's coming out. Fountain goes out as well, but they're turning on to Dark Potato. He's been swallowed up. Oh, the Glimmer Shot's raining down. Active camo. That's Dark Potato out. Wow. And that's going to be a kill going over to Araki. Hundor trying to run from Rex. It's going to be a double for Araki. And Hundor, he has to attempt an escape. Find going to triple. try and get over the wall, but the grits are there. And Zeno Tech has it in easy. And Ace comes through for Gangstars. And with an Ace now moving forward, this is game. So now we're in a position where Europe's hopes are against the ropes on this stage and Gangstars there winding up for a final punch. With their backs up against the wall, this is do or die time. Like if this isn't a win for them, they're, they're out 3-0. Here comes Zeno looking for first blood in this game three and he will get it. Araki gonna find one. Araki right gets through. It right through and that is just one more to go. It's a rhyme and they can play ground bully him. Just wait it all out. Dark Potato, he will struggle to escape. It's a double for Araki! Looking for a triple onto this carry! And right fours! Araki needed to step up and step up he did! Say hello to Gangstars, your first finalist here in London! G2, they came here, they beat NA. That's the history-defining moment. Might not have been the cleanest of wins, but they won. They will go down in the history books. They've already found success from where we were three months ago. Where we were three months ago, we were the laughing stock of the Bangalore community. Like, you know, people looked at Europe and said, well, they couldn't even get past day one on Worlds. We've already now found our first win against North America. We just need to keep doing what we're doing. The infrastructure is slowly getting better and just need to continue down that path. Our roster is actually quite young. We came here to improve as a team and grow together. So there's nothing to lose for us, just improving, adapting and getting stronger for the next seasons.